In this video, we're going to solve the equation x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. We can't solve this equation by factoring because there's nothing that multiplies to negative 2 and adds to negative 3, and so we need another method. We found out this other method is to make the left side into something squared equals some number because we can get rid of that squared by taking the square root of both sides. To get in the correct format, we have to set it up first, though. First, we need to separate the number or constant from the variables and then get rid of anything in front of x squared. To separate the constant from the variables, we're going to add 2 to both sides. That way, the variables are on the left, x squared minus 3x, and the numbers are on the right, equals 2. Our next step, normally, would be to get rid of anything in front of x squared. In this case, we don't have a number in front of x squared, so we can now move on to completing the square. We complete the square by taking 1 half times b, or the middle number, negative 3, and squaring our answer. We're going to need some fractions, so we'll put the negative 3 over 1, gives us negative 3 halves. And when we square our answer, numerator and denominator gives us 9 fourths. And so we're going to add 9 fourths to both sides of this equation. The left side, then, is x squared minus 3x plus 9 fourths. On the right side, we're going to need some fractions. 2 plus 9 fourths. Well, we need a common denominator. Right now, that's 2 over 1. Common denominator of 4 multiplying by 4 over 4 gives us 8 fourths plus 9 fourths is 17 fourths. Now this equation is all set up. We've completed the square. It should factor into something squared equals 17 fourths. We can take the square root of the first term, which is x, the sine from the middle, minus, and the square root of the last term. Taking the square root of a fraction is simply taking the square root of the numerator and denominator, 3 halves. And we now have something that we can solve quite nicely. We can get rid of square by taking the square root of both sides. Square and square root are gone, gives us x minus 3 halves equals... When we take the square root of both sides, we need plus or minus. And then, we take the square root of the fraction, numerator and denominator separately. We can't do anything with the 17, but the square root of 4 is 2. And so finally, to finish, we'll add 3 halves to both sides, giving us x is equal to... Notice we have a common denominator already, so we can put it all over the common denominator of 2. And in the numerator, 3 plus or minus the square root of 17. We can't simplify that at all, so this will be our final solution. The way we got this solution is we completed the square. To set that up, we had to separate the number from the variables, putting the numbers on the right and the variables on the left. Didn't have a number in front of x squared to clear, so we completed the square by finding half of b and squaring it and adding it to both sides. That gave us a perfect square, which we could easily and quickly solve for x. That's the process of completing the square.